Hello, uh, my name is Ayla and I'm a volunteer at the Valley Bikery. And um, so what the Valley Bikery is, is basically a community bicycle organization and we try to provide resources for cyclists in the valley. Um, as you might know, the valley is not exactly the most um, bike friendly place for a beginner cyclist. So um, we try to help people out if they're just starting out and then also if people are more experienced, give them a place where they can fix their own bike, um, you know, get parts for their bike in an affordable way. Um, and so right now I'm actually doing a mobile bike clinic at the Velodrome. So we try to serve the entire valley and because the valley is so big, we do a lot of mobile things. Um, so every Wednesday right now we're at the Velodrome. We set up a stand, um, we have a whole bunch of tools, and we allow people to come and work on their bikes. Um, we ask for $5 an hour donation, um, but no one's turned away for lack of funds. Um, we, we also have a location in Chatsworth, um, so a more permanent space. Uh, Where's that located? It's on Devonshire and Burial. Burial is just one street west of DeSoto. Um, you have the exact address? Yeah, it's one three. <laughs> I don't remember it off the top of my head. But anyways, it's uh, it's located inside Valley Bicycles. Um, and it's... Valley Bicycles on Vesita? On no. Devonshire and Burial. Devonshire and Burial. Yeah. I think it's one three 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 one. What's the website? So the website is www.valleybikery.com, and our address is there, um, directions, everything. And um, so there we have a lot more parts. We have extra wheels, extra brakes, um, all sorts of things. If something is broken, someone can come get a part, replace it themselves. If they don't know how to do it, we'll show them how. Um, and so you can also learn how to maintain your bike, learn how to fix a flat tire. And then um, also we do different um, events, sometimes in Chatsworth area, sometimes in Northridge. Um, I'll do this later. Um, but basically, we with the beginner bike rides, you know, one of the biggest barriers I'd say to um, kind of getting out and riding around um, in the valley is just the speed of traffic, kind of not feeling comfortable, not knowing, you know, do I have the right to ride in the lane or do I need to be on the sidewalk? You know, um, our car is going to stop or are they just going to run me over? What should I do? So we, with the beginner bike rides, we take people out, we kind of, you know, show them some nice routes that are a little bit more calm. They don't have to ride on Reseda Boulevard, you know, or... Tampa or whatever. Um, we take them on some nice streets. Um, we teach them a little bit about like, you know, signaling, uh, things like that. We have um, we have some know your rights handbooks. Um, some things about uh, you know what to do when you're um, in a situation where, um, like, if you were to get into an accident or come in. Um, things that can happen to cyclists, things to look out for and avoid. Um, and then also just the California Vehicle Code. You do have the right to ride in the middle of the road if it's not safe to do otherwise. Um, things like that. So, um, What's a common misconception about riding a bike in the valley? Or just riding a bike on the streets, period? Um, I guess, I think people think it's far more dangerous than it is. Um, it seems dangerous it seems more dangerous to ride in the road than on the sidewalk it feels that way but statistically it's not it's actually a lot safer you're less likely to get hit by a car turning right you're less likely to get hit by you know a car coming out of a driveway so um, even though it's counterintuitive it's actually safer so we try and um, help people develop practices as new cyclists that are gonna keep them safe on the road so they keep cycling um, and then, you know, with the maintenance, I think it's important to know at least the basics of how to maintain your bike unless you can afford to pay lots of money to have someone do it every time your bike breaks down. Um, but especially, you know, with flat tires, you always want to know that because if you, get, if you get a flat tire somewhere, you know, you don't want to be stranded. You want to be able to be a little bit self-sufficient, fix your tire, get on your way. Especially if you're a commuter, you know, if you're on your way to work and you get a flat tire, what are you going to do? So. Um, a lot of the valley riders, are they commuters, are they uh, enthusiasts, what kind of riders have you uh, encountered at the bike route? Um, I'd say a really big range. Um, there are a lot of people who, uh, in the bike route, because we're in Chatsworth, our other location, um, 
a lot of people go to CSUN and maybe they ride their bikes to and from CSUN or Pierce College. Um, so a lot of student commuters and then a few uh, work commuters. Um, some people who, we get some roadies who come in, um, uh, not always to fix their bike, but just kind of to check it out. Um, and then a lot of beginner cyclists. So um, people who drive to, to and from work, um, maybe they have a bike and they want to start riding it and they come out to the beginner bike ride and they come out to an event and then maybe they come to work on their bike. Usually uh, the people who are coming to the rides aren't necessarily the same people who are coming in to work on their bike, but eventually they do start to come in and develop other skills also. But um, yeah, the beginner bike, bike ride, um, really brings in a lot of different people um, who don't necessarily ride to and from work but just want to like, feel more comfortable. And then people who just ride around and experienced cyclists who maybe do group rides uh, at night or in the day and just want to come out and ride. So, How often do the beginner group rides? Every other month. Every um, other month? Yeah, we do one ride every other month. Our last one was in Northridge, our next one will be in the East Valley. Um, we try and switch up the locations. Um, and then we're doing, like I said, the Velodrome Mobile Bike Clinic, and then we're doing some mobile bike clinics at metro stations. So pretty soon we're going to start doing a mobile bike clinic, I don't know the date just yet, but at North Hollywood Metro Station. Um, we'll be setting up there probably for three or four hours at a time. Um, Reseda Metro Station and Van Nuys Metro Station also coming soon. So, um, How many I, people are, are volunteering at the bikery right now? Uh, I'd say we have about like five or six core volunteers. And then, um, you know, for our mobile bike clinic, I mean, for our beginner bike rides, we have people who come out for that. And then we have our, you know, core volunteers who come every week to do um, the mobile bike clinics or the bike re in Chatsworth. So, um, but we hope that as we start to serve more areas of the valley, we'll be getting volunteers from more areas. Because Chatsworth is far. It's hard to get out to Chatsworth. You know, I live in the East Valley and it's a schlep. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> yeah. So why was it put in Chatsworth? Was the space donated or something? Uh, not exactly donated, but we got a really good deal. So, yeah, so it just worked out the way. And the shop that we're in is great, Valley Bicycles. Um, you know, and also bikery, people who come in to work on their bikes in Valley Bikery also get a 20% discount on new parts from Valley Bicycles. So, so they, they don't have to necessarily come in and get a used part. Right. They can come in through you guys, I'm assuming it's, well because it's five dollars an hour for labor versus the normal store rate, right. you can now take advantage of the 20% discount while still being in a right. environment. Although the labor is yourself, because we don't fix bikes for people, but we'll teach someone how to fix their bike. So you get to work on your bike and you get to go home with new skills. So. What's your uh, specialty that you bring to the table? Um, well, I would say that as far as bike maintenance, my knowledge is primarily road bikes because that's the kind of bike I ride, so that's the kind of bike I've had to fix the most. Um, but I'm learning more about track bikes by volunteering at the velodrome. So volunteering is a nice way of learning more also. Um, uh, even though I've been doing it for almost a year now, or over a year now, I'm still always learning new things about bikes because there's a lot to know. Um, and then I guess the, I really, I think my passion is in the beginner bike rides and the um, kind of advocacy and events that we do. Because um, there are not really very many bike lanes in the valley and, um, you know, we can spend all the time we want helping individuals to get on their bikes and ride them and that's really important, but we also at the same time I think need to be working with, you know, the city and neighborhoods and stuff like that to put bike lanes on the road and, you know, I saw they recently too. added some new bike lanes to the valley. Uh, north of, on Reseda, north of Devonshire? Yeah. yeah. Um, how have they been in your experience? Have you seen them? Have you ridden them? Yeah, I mean, they're so far north and I never go that far north. Um, Devonshire's that was pretty far north though. Well, they're north of Devonshire. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so they end at Devonshire. <laughs> what? The, yeah. The problem with the valley is the bike lanes are all like north, east, west. There's not much in the middle. So if you need to go travel anywhere in the middle of the valley, which chances are you're going to have to. Um, there's not a lot. There are a few things and like 
once you've been biking around a while, you at least know which streets are nicer to take, which streets have a wider shoulder. And that's something we also try and tell people. We give away the Metro bike maps because that way you can kind of look and say, okay, which street is just going to be a bike route or a bike lane and which one is going to be a little bit nicer. 